It's time for an update of an older video over classic UO settings that we did some time ago. I'll be using Are You Kidding's forum post that he wrote that is really, really well put together. I'll also include the link in the description below. So if you want your UI to go from this to this, then sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's talk about it. All right, so the first thing we have to do and go over is, do you see this little blue gem? You can click it and drag it to your liking. Or you can go into options and then video on the left. Then under game window, you can adjust it to a numerical value. Now, Are You Kidding recommends keeping it at a minimum of 1000 by 800 since it draws 18 tiles and that's the furthest you can see for distance. I definitely agree with him there. The world map, if you click up here, you can actually open your world map. Now this map is much better than the default map that UO comes with. Actually, if you right click the map itself, there's plenty of options to choose from. Anything from turning on or off map markers or even creating your own custom map markers. One of the most common things that I'm asked lately is how is your backpack that color on screen? And that's simple. Go into interface, then select match container gump hue. You can have it partial, which will only do the outside of your bag, or full, which will do inside the bag as well. Also, at the top of this section, you can scale your backpack to your liking and even the items within. Not only that, but just below there is an option to change the corpse gump color of the things that you loot. I personally do a light gray. Now, grid counters. These little buggers are amazing. If you go into options, then counters, you can enable counters. You can set the amount of rows and columns you'd like as well as the size. Then notice the options above. At this point, you're able to drag any item wherever you'd like to place it. Not only that, but you're also able to double click it and it will use it or consume it if it's applicable. The info bar. Now this movable bar is rather handy as Are You Kidding points out. By default, it has the basics. Name, hit points, mana, stamina, even weight you can add a large amount of things. I personally added the PVP cooldown, gold, criminal timer, and summons, which is actually just followers, which obviously means you can name them whatever you'd like as well. Now there's custom health bars. Another popular thing I'm asked is the custom health bar options. If you go into general, under health bars and select and drag select, you will see use custom health bars gump, as well as opaque background. This gives a nice sleek looking health bar for yourself and enemies. Now for drag select. Since we are in here, drag select is a simple way to grab creatures that are moving or multiple people and or creatures. Once again, in general, health bars and drag select, then under select all modifier select none. This will actually enable drag select to open all of the health bars. All you have to do is left click and drag or have the modifier be whatever you'd like. Furthermore, you can have it only select players. Just blow that one. Choose whatever button you'd like to use as the drag select to only grab players or monsters, etc. Also, just below that, you can put where you'd like your health bars to populate. I like mine somewhere in the middle of the screen. So I do 716 for X and 287 for Y. Grid loot. I personally really like grid loot and the Outlands theming for grid loot. Grid loot is a feature that helps you loot faster. By simply clicking the items on the corpse, they go straight into your bag. Head on over to Gumps and Context under the General tab, and then you can do both the grid loot and the regular corpse looting, or just the grid loot itself. I like doing both. Then two options below that is the outline theming for grid loot. This makes it look really nice. I suggest doing that. Here is something really, really cool and will really spice up your UI. You can create buttons that will trigger macros. Once you have used CUO to create a macro, click on the advanced button editor. Once there, you'll check mark use graphic. Start typing in numbers to cycle through the many options available. There's thousands of them, literally. Here's a graphic from Are You Kidding that shows many different good looking ones. I, similar to Are You Kidding, really like 11548. You can also scale the size of the button to your liking. And for this one, health bars on units. This, this is a must. You can choose between the line at the bottom or the percentage at the top. 
or actually both. If you scroll down just a tad, you can also include auras under people's feet. This will allow you to see their notoriety much, much easier. And there we have it guys, uh, 10, I think it was 10 settings over UO Classic that will definitely, definitely help you out. Thank you, Are You Kidding, for that forum post. And guys, be sure and check it out because his post was obviously much, much more detailed than I can get into in about a 10 minute video. Thank you to the Patreons, the channel members, and you guys for liking this video as it helps with discoverability on for both myself and obviously Outlands in general. Be sure and come by the live streams right here on YouTube most nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. For any other UO settings that I might have missed out on, make sure and check out my older video over UO Classic settings as it's still very, very applicable to today. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Pwn Star Gaming out.